Hello friends and welcome to Let's Play Lisa Saw Game. I'm your host, Patrick Manmo. For a second there, I thought that there should be more to that title, but there there isn't. It's just it's just Lisa Saw Game, not Lisa Simpson Saw Game. Although, that being said, sometimes it is called Lisa Simpson Saw Game, but it's not called that here. <laughs> the wicked pig saw is back crazier than ever and will force poor Lisa Simpson to go through dangerous tests to rescue Homer, Marge, Bart, and Maggie, help Lisa overcome all the obstacles of the evil puppet. This is Inca Games Round 2, the Inca Ning, where we go through and replay all the Inca Games games that we've ever played before, but now for the second game. Second game? Yeah, round two. S s second time. Sure, whatever. That's what that means. Oh, Jesus, that came in so loud for me. Oh, man, I didn't turn that down. That scared the bejesus out of me. Oh, is there something on the TV? Hello, Lisa. Oh, it is I, the evil pizza. That inexpressive and pale face looks familiar. I'm glad you remember me, since it was me who kidnapped you and your family to force Homer to play my game. <laughs> now I remember, let me just say you're a mean puppet. Thanks for the compliment. Get out of my TV right now or I'll call the police. Well, if you call the police, you'll never see your family again. My family? What's up with them? Mm, all I can say is they're kidnapped in a secret place here in Springfield. I don't believe you. You're a liar. I knew you'd say that. Maybe you need to see this. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's my familia. My family. What do you want? I want to play a game. What kind of game? You'll see. You've always bragged about being a smart girl, the smartest in your school, and well... You see, I have my doubts. But I'm the smartest at my school. Ask Mr. Skinner, ask the teachers, anyone. Easy, Lisa. Unfortunately, this is my game and I set the rules. I'll explain. Inside this building, I've placed dangerous traps you'll need to pass in order to rescue your family. If you are the smartest you claim to be, this will be a piece of cake, right? Win or lose, make your choice. <laughs> This is Lisa Simpson's Saw Game. I've got to go save my family and collect a bunch of items and stuff that we can use throughout the town and our house so that we can rescue them somehow, slowly but surely. We can look at the TV. If I remember correctly, there's nothing we can do here. There's nothing. We can look at the TV, we can talk to the TV, we can look at, we can punch the TV, we can't do any of those things. We're gonna go left to right, because left is always right, and we're gonna see what's in the kitchen. We've got, like, a book of matches? Don't mind if I do, I'll, I will take, it's a match box, actually. There are no matches, actually, in the box. It's just the box itself. I've got a bottle of oil. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna take the bottle of oil, and I assume we eventually need to find a match to light on fire. I don't know what we do with the oil. We're gonna either lubricate something or cook something. I'm not entirely sure what. Can we take Santa's little helper with us? Yes, we'll just put him into not our pocket because we don't have any pockets. We ha we wear like this weird like one one piece skirt thing. This like onesie skirt thing. I've never really been sure. I guess it's like a sundress. I guess it's like a sundress that Lisa wears. I've never really given that two thoughts. I've really not given that much thought before, but I guess that's what it is. We can go into Lisa's room. I'm sure we can find some useful items here and in Bart's room. I seem to remember, I think we find like a camera or something we can use. What is this, a backpack? Is there anything in the backpack? No. You know, if we had to open it and maybe there'd be stuff in it, but we have it now. A pair of roller blades. Sure, like roller skates or something. A perfume. A comb book. No, nothing like that. There's a doll here that we can definitely take for sure. And what is this, a piggy? Maybe if we break the piggy open, ooh. A piggy, an alarm clock. Do I have anything to smash the, maybe if we find a hammer or something, there's a pillow we can take and I put the piggy in the pillow and then beat it over someone's head so that we can open it. There's a musical score, ooh. Ooh la la la, ooh la la la. Can I put that sax on the beach? Can I put that with the, no, I don't have a reason to play here. But eventually, if we have a reason to play our saxophone, we can play some sax on the beach. That's right. That's what it's called. That's what it's called, man. Don't ask me. I'm gonna go into Bart's room. I'm gonna trespass. He won't mind because he's been captured and kidnapped. He won't be able to stop us. There's a picture frame with a picture on it. It seems to be Mr. Skinner in a chicken costume. I don't know why. I'm guessing that's blackmail. I'm glad. I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna use that as blackmail. There's a C-3PO doll. I'm sure that's gonna go to the comic book guy. I mean, what else can we possibly? There's a hammer. That's what we're looking for. Smash the pig. We've got 50 cents. The entire wrapper in our pocket. We've got some scissors and a fan and a slingshot. Oh my god, we have so many things. This is one of the few games where right away from the very beginning you have a bajillion things and you don't know what any of them are for yet. Hopefully I haven't missed anything because if I've missed anything I'm not gonna notice for a while and I'm gonna be going crazy later trying to figure out what I've missed. That happens a lot where when you miss one thing you end up spending a billion years looking for 
like how to solve a puzzle not knowing that you're missing the key ingredient, the key item. Hey there, Millhouse. I seem to remember that I think he wants a kiss on the cheek and we're not willing to do it. Hi, Millhouse. Hi, Lisa. What are you doing outside my house? I was waiting for you to come out so I could see your pretty face, Lisa. <laughs> I think that's harassment, it is. I, I like to call it romantic enthusiasm, it sounds better. <laughs> uh, what's, for, what, what's with the happy face? I'm happy to be around you, Lisa. Uh, that's nice, shouldn't you be home by now? No worries, my parents went to the theater so I could be here all afternoon. <sighs> I mean, that's good, great, wonderful. I don't think there's anything else we can do with you right now. I think he wants a kiss on the cheek or something. And uh, we get like someone to do it for us or something so we can take his glasses? That's what I seem to remember. I don't remember much more. The abandoned toy store is exactly where we need to go to rescue our family. That's where they are. But I don't have any way of getting in there right now because it's locked or something. So let's go to the Quickie Mart. That seems like a good place to start. There's a candy dispenser and a Lady Gaga. Well, Lady Gaga, I'm going to be right back. I don't think so. That machine only receives 25 cent coins. Okay, I need a quarter. I need a quarter for that one. Anything else I can do outside here? Let's talk to Lady Gaga. Nice to see that you've escaped your uh, Saw game safe and sound from a billion years ago, right? I think so. We've, have we already done that? I don't remember. Good morning, little girl. I'm your. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Gaga. Thanks a lot. I love your personality. I think you're so original and authentic. What a nice girl. What's your name? <laughs> Lisa. Lisa Simpson. Nice to meet you, Lisa. That's what I sound like now. I love your dress, it's so original and yellow. Thanks a lot, but well, that's nothing. I've got other dresses that are even more original. More? Yeah, I wore a meat suit once. Wow, that is originality at its finest. Great, I don't know what more we're supposed to do with you. Um, I love your dress. Maybe we need your dress at some point. Do I need to convince you to like change dresses? Maybe I need to convince you. Maybe someone needs to meet you later. I don't know, I'm gonna leave and come back to this later. Apu's dreaming of money. He wants the money. Can I, maybe I can steal the flashlight? No, we should pay Apu before taking anything. Well, I don't think 50 cents is gonna cut it. I think we should wake him up for, I don't wanna wake him up. Can we yell at him? I think we need to like saxophone him or something. Apu, Apu! No, he doesn't care. He's, he's dead asleep. He's totally asleep. Maybe we can saxophone him awake. I don't have a reason to play here. You do do have a reason to play here. You're trying to wake up Apu. Well, maybe if I had like, a megaphone, perhaps? I mean, I could, I, I, I could maybe get Santa's little helper to bark at him. Alarm clock, actually, might be the trick. Ah, uh, that might be the trick. No! This alarm clock is not loud enough. Maybe someone can help me make it louder. Uh, great, I think it's the science guy. What's his name, like Fitz? Like Dr. Fitz or something? I think that's a thing. I don't know where he's at. I don't, uh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. We're gonna go to the school. Hey, Principal Skinner. Good morning, Principal Skinner. Uh, good morning, Lisa. Are you a brave man? Well, of course I am. Otherwise, I wouldn't be a principal in elementary school. Besides, I was in Vietnam, in case you didn't know. Does that mean you're not afraid of anything? That's right. How about the Superintendent Chalmers? Skinner! <laughs> oh, oh, okay, J just him. He's the only one. He's the only one, but um, we, we bonded over some steamed hams the other day, and I think I think we're fine now. I think we're on an evil, even, even playing field after after my steamed hams fiasco. <laughs> A lot of people say you're not the real Seymour Skinner. Mm, well, I used to be an imposter, but not anymore. Not anymore? What do you mean? Explain yourself. I used to pretend I was Seymour Skinner. Then my real identity was Armin Tamsarian. Unfortunately, one day the real Seymour Skinner came back to Springfield, and I was exiled. Lucky for me, the real Skinner turned out to be a very unpleasant person. So he got thrown away out of Springfield, and Judge Snyder granted me the identity of Se Seymour Skinner officially. And now I'm not an imposter. Well, that was an interesting story that doesn't matter at all for the rest of this game. Have you got a dollar that I could use? Yes, I do. Can I have it? I don't think so, Lisa. I'm gonna use it to buy a comic of the Radioactive Man later. It'll probably cost you more than a dollar, buddy. I do have this fascinating blackmail, though. Would you like to have it for a dollar? Mr. Skinner, would you be interested in buying this picture? I think he would be. I think he would be quite interested. I think he'd be, I think he'd be very keen. Uh, where'd you get that? I can't reveal my sources. Well, well, it's okay. How much uh, do you want for it? One dollar. I happen to have just one dollar. <laughs> Here, take it. 
I will take that one dollar. Great. Now, if I can only wake up a poo, I can get some slushies. Slushies? What does he call them? He calls squishies. He calls them squishies. I think is what he calls them. Hey, can I get a uh, get a balloon? It's probably gonna cost me fifty cents, right? Good morning, Mr. Bumblebee. Uh, good morning, Lisa. You remind me of the red grasshopper. I've been told that many times. The costume is very similar. I think Matt Groening made this the character based on him. I wonder if he paid royalties to Chesperito. I pretty much doubt it. Okay, great. Uh, don't, didn't you used to work for Krusty? Yeah, up until a couple of months. And what happened? Well, due to the crisis, Krusty had to let go of a lot of people. And he had to choose between Mr. Teeny and me. I see. And he chose Mr. Teeny. Do you sell balloons? No way, I'm just here chilling. What do you think, kid? Are you being sarcastic? Of course I am, Ninja. What else would I be doing? Okay, okay, how much for a balloon? 50 cents. Okay, I've got 50 cents. There you go. That accent I tried to give him was not even close. I Forgive me. Mr. Pumblebee, can I have a balloon? Here you go, kid. Thanks. I don't do accents well. I shouldn't even try. I try, but I don't do them well. Forgive me. Forgive me. I try. <laughs> hey there, what's a... They've got a, a ripped in half musical score. That's not very helpful, is it? Hi, T Hi Terry. Uh, hi, Lisa. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Lisa. I'm gonna make them just sound the same. If, you're ident uh, if you are identical and you dress the same, how does your mom recognize you? It really surprises us that you ask. Something pretty simple and obvious. Something anybody would know. Simple and obvious? What do you mean? Our mother recognizes us by our names. What are you, uh, your names? Sure. She just asks, are you Terry or Sherry? And we tell her who we are. Though sometimes we lie just for fun. I don't see the fun in that. I do. I would do that. I would 100% do that. 100%. Why are you so upset? We are upset because our dad gave us a score of Lady Gaga's The Edge of Glory. Because we are fans of her. But Sherry wanted to keep it to herself. That's not true. Terry wanted to keep it to herself. Then we struggled for it, and the score broke apart. All because of Sherry's fault. All because of Terry's fault. Maybe you should try to talk things out instead of fighting. Um, what if I gave you this doll? Would you give me that score? Girls, would you like to trade those two pieces of broken score for this nice and pretty doll? A perfectly good doll for these two pieces of paper? I think it's a good deal. We take it. Yeah, we take it. Here you go. It was an excellent business, Terry. Silly her traded us something good for something broken. I'll play with it first. No way, I'll play with it first. Let go. <laughs> no, you let go. <laughs> and it's broken. Look what you did. Me, it was you who broke it. Whatever. Now they get half a doll each. Now I have two torn pieces of paper. I imagine I need some tape or glue. I don't think I've gotten any tape or glue. I've got perfume. I don't think that's gonna do it though. I've got scissors. I can cut it into four pieces. You know, for reasons. But we'll leave that for now. I do think we need tape or glue. Probably tape. Tape seems like that would make more sense. I don't have tape. We'll come back when we have tape. Uh, and then we'll go to Lady Gaga and get her to play the Edge of Glory for us for reasons. I'm gonna go take that ladder if I may, if I might. Ah, don't touch that ladder, kid. Can I borrow it? I'm not in the mood to lend anything. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, what if we go talk to you? Can I convince you to be in the mood? What would you like? Good morning, Willie. Ah, good morning, Lisa. Why, are you really from Scotland? That's right, kid. I'm more Scottish than whiskey. Uh, and where's your kilt? I wear it during my time off. Do you think Willie can clean toilets wearing a skirt? I think so. <laughs> I, she doesn't think so. I think so. I don't see why not. That's why I use an overall. I understand now. I can't do a Scottish act. I should, maybe I should try? <laughs> what does a Scottish accent sound like? Why are you upset? Uh, someone pried open the warehouse's padlock and took my handsaw. And without it, I can't repair the benches that Mr. Skinner asked me to. That's a shame. Uh, can I take the padlock? Can I take it with me? Maybe if we convince you to, like, maybe if we bring back your handsaw, that will make you happy, and then we can take a bunch of stuff. Have you been in jail? Yes, kiddo, once. What did you do? I trampled on a police officer uniform. What? That's not such a big deal. That's what I thought. They said Willie should have waited for the police officer to take it off. Well, that's a bit disturbing. I will be back when I have your handsaw, because I currently do not have it. So let's try the comic book store next. I mean, I've got that C-3PO doll, and I think we might be able to trade that for something, right? I'm feeling like that might be worth something, some kind of costume or something. I think it might be. Let's go talk to you first. Let's talk to you first, because otherwise we don't know why we would be trading. Good morning. Good morning, little girl. 
Have you got any- have you got personality issues? <laughs> uh, no, I do you say that? Also, why do I sound vaguely like I'm trying to do a very bad Christopher Walken? Very bad, by the way, it's not good. <laughs> is your merchandise expensive? Hmm, some of it is expensive. Let's see, how much for that Martian costume? Two hundred dollars. Wow, that is expensive. What if I gave you this? Would you be interested in a trade? I've got the C-3PO doll. Is it a, of a collector's edition? Sure it is, of course. It was the first of its kind, and on top of that, George Lucas himself touched it. Well, then it must be worth a lot. What do you want for it? I think the Martian costume would be just fine. Deal. Thanks. I don't know why we need the Martian costume yet. We haven't gotten to that point in the game yet, but we have it. I imagine we're gonna use it to trick a Martian. That's all I can imagine. How about the laboratory? Ah, the Fitz, Fritz, what's your name? Something like that. I don't remember. Spitz? That's <laughs> Spitzy Fitzy? Uh, F Frink, that's the one. Professor Frink, that's the one. That's your name. And now we gotta go talk to you. Then we find out he needs his pair of glasses. Hi, Professor Frink. Hi, Lisa. Have you won a Nobel Prize? No, Lisa, I'm not interested in that. We scientists don't expect neither recognition nor fame. Would you like to be famous? Have a statue recognizing your achievements? No, I just explained that I'm not interested in that kind of thing. Not even for one million dollars, the Nobel Prize awards? Yeah, well, uh, it awards one million dollars? Well, I could do a lot of things with that. Sounds good, I think I'll reconsider my goals from now on. Okay, right, what else can we do? Uh, how are your how how are your relationship with your father? My mother used to say my father and I got along like positrons and anti neutrinos. Was that clear, Lisa? Uh, yeah, right, crystal clear. I don't think that's a good thing. Positrons and anti neutrinos? I don't I don't think they interact at all. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't think they even interact at all. Um, what happened to your glasses? You noticed I wasn't wearing any. You're pretty observant, Lisa. Did you lose them? Uh, I was trying to turn them into x-ray glasses, but the experiment didn't come off very well. What happened? Instead of the x-ray, I sent him them to another dimension. I think I've lost them for good. And without glasses, I can't see anything. I'm afraid I'll have to wait until Monday to go to the store. Poor thing. Well... I guess we'll be back when we have a pair of glasses for you, because I think there's one other place we need to go to, right? Just one, no, two more places. The statue of Springfield and the cemetery. What can we do around the statue? There is the statue. I don't have the ladder with me. I need that handsaw first. And then we can get a ladder and probably fix this guy's head. Good morning, uh, Mayor Quimby. Uh, good morning, Lisa. Is it true you scammed our school selling them rat milk? Uh, that was a terrible misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? I thought it was dog milk, not rats. Yikes. Gross. <laughs> Is it true that you are friends with Fat Tony and he's always bribing you? He's not my friend, nor will he ever be. I haven't received any bribes either. Hey, Tony. You have merchandise coming across the border and you need to avoid border control? Count on it, Tony. $5,000 will do. Hugs, Tony. Talk to you later. Tony? Uh, er, uh, Tony, Tony Montana, an old friend of, uh, from Shelbyville. Hmm, there's something fishy here. Yeah, it's a bribe. It, that's what it is. Uh, how come you're so sad? Tomorrow we are gonna have a ceremony honoring Jambadaya Springfield, and someone cut the statue's head off and took it away. And without the head, we can't have our ceremony. I see, that's quite a problem. Uh, one that I cannot yet solve, so okay, goodbye forever. I'm gonna go to the cemetery now. We need to get into the cemetery, I think. Cletus the Dorman! Good morning, Mr. Garb. Uh, good morning. Have you ever presenced something weird happen in, the, in here? Mm, yeah, I saw something strange once. Paranormal activity? Ghosts, maybe? Nah, not bad. Then... Nah, the other night I saw Dr. Nick Riviera come out of the cemetery holding a big heavy bag. No way, and what did you do? I confronted him, and I asked him what was in it. Well thought, and what was in it? Well, he claimed there was soil samples, and he had gathered to analyze the measure of the levels of the lead concentration. Thought that was weird, since it's unlikely for something like that to happen in a cemetery. Okay, Mr. Naive. Is there anything else I can do with you? Uh, why the long face? I'm sad because my piggy climbed on top of that there one of them statues, and now he can't get down. I see, and why don't you call the firefighters? I did, but they said they would not. They don't. They only. They only work with cats, not pigs. That's ridiculous. I'll see if I can do something. 
Uh, I don't have, I have a pillow. Where's my pillow? There's my pillow. I've got a pillow that I can use as a cushion. I don't know how to get the pig down. Can I just yell at it? Hey, little piggy, jump down here. No? The pig is too frightened to jump. Can I use the balloon? Can I use the scissors and the balloon to spook it? Maybe I can, can I use the balloon on the pig? Maybe not, maybe we, how do we not frighten the pig? Maybe we use the slingshot. If I had a rock or a stone or something like that, maybe that would do, maybe the Santa's helper to bark at? Mmm, uh, what else can we talk about? I think we should try to solve this problem first. There was like a third thing we could ask him about, but I don't know what it was. Ooh, this scent is pretty strong, although it lasts only 10 seconds. Oh, I can spray myself with perfume. And it lasts for 10 seconds, weird. Uh, I don't think that helps us with the pig at all. Hey, can I borrow your glasses? Of course, Lisa, you can borrow them, as long as you give me a kiss. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, maybe uh, Santa's little helper. No kiss, no glasses. Which is, again, I think some kind of form of harassment. Here you go, there you go, buddy. I just licked your face. Well, that was some kiss, Lisa. Take my glasses, but remember to give them back to me. I can't see anything without them. Don't worry, Millhouse. I'll, I'll them back soon, I hope. No, he's not getting them back. They're never coming back. He's not gonna get them back. He's gonna be lost without his glasses. I can't see without my glasses either. Professor, I found these glasses. Maybe you can use them. Wow, these glasses are perfect. I can see again, Lisa. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, do you have like a reward for me? I, uh, uh, maybe uh, Nobel Prize? No, wait, can I just click on your stuff, maybe? Oh, here we go. How about this gun? Professor, can I borrow those objects? Oh, you're interested in the magnet gun and the anti-mutant formula? Sure you can have them. I hope they come in handy. Thanks. I've got an, a magnetizing gun and an anti-mutant formula. Hmm, none of those things are exactly what I was hoping... Hoping to have, I'll be honest with you. Oh, what if I give you the alarm clock? Yeah, Professor, would you be kind enough to modify my alarm clock to sound louder? Uh, of course, Lisa. Now I can see okay, so it should be a piece of cake. Thanks. There we go. I knew we needed to do something more here, and I forgot what it was. Now your alarm clock is louder than ever. It can wake up anything. Anything. Okay, great. And now we will, we will, we will wake up the uh, narcoleptic Apu. There you go. Ah, what does that, what that, what's that dreadful noise? I'm sorry, Apu, but you left me no choice. A uh, but it's okay, it's, it was time to wake up anyway. I've got a dollar. Apu, I'll have an ice cream, please. Ice cream is one dollar. Okay. Can I go steal your stuff while you're making my ice cream? Just, uh, take your time there, Apu. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks, Apu. I have an ice cream. Was there more I can talk to you about? How many children do you have? To be honest, I lost count. How about an approximate? Hmm, not less than 50, nor more than 100. That's a lot of children. I bet you've never heard of Planned Parenthood. Stop talking gibberish. How many letters does your name have? What, a poo? It's got three. 18. 18? Wow, I can't believe it. And what is that? Nahasabimed. I, I didn't read it fast enough. Pretty long, actually. My friends, Abdaboon had a longer last name. How many letters? 853? Uh, let's just leave it there. Wasn't gonna pronounce it anyway. I would have loved to see an 853 letter name flash up on my screen. I would have loved it. I would have seen it. I would have tried it. I would have tried it. I love trying to say words, like really long words. Give me a long word in the comments. I'll try to say it. I can't promise I'll make a video of me doing it, but I love saying long words. Try to look up Floxanasana Hilopilification. I think I remember how that's spelled. F-L-O-C-C-I-N-A-S-C-I-P-I-L-A-F? I, I don't remember. Anyway, try to look it up. I got I got you most of the word. Google will figure out the rest. We should pay a poo before taking anything. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have more money, though. I don't think I have more money to give you, so unfortunately that's where I'm gonna have to stop here. We have an ice cream. I don't actually know what I need the ice cream for. I've got the torn, mmm. I don't know, mmm. I don't have the quarter either for the gumball. Oh, there's an arrow right here. <laughs> 
I didn't even see this. The hand's on the head. I didn't even see this arrow here. So actually, I could probably do some kind of something here, right? I need that hand. Can I talk to them? I'm sure they're gonna beat me up. I shouldn't try to reason with them. Yeah, they're gonna try to like beat me up or something. What if I wore the costume? No, nope. what if I shot them with a gun? <laughs> I mean, that would do an anti-mutant form. What about the ice cream? What if I put some kind of poison in the ice cream and then we'd be i mean we'd be on to some can i take the head from here probably not they're gonna yell at me right stop right there nerd no one can take our trophy no 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 I, it was a misunderstanding i just wanted to clean it up a little since it's dirty and all lies you wanted to steal it let's get her maybe we need to have someone else take care of them for you oh like willie like now that we saw the handsaw can we just tell willie about it uh, I've got information you might be interested in. What kind of information? About your hand saw. Tell Willie everything you know. Close from here to the right, there are three boys holding a handsaw. I'm sure that's my handsaw. I'll teach those brats. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was easy. We just send Willie in to go get him. Why, you little... <laughs> Typical, they run when someone confronts them. Yeah, no, that's about right. Thanks to you, I got my handsaw back. It was nothing, Willie. I don't like when people steal things. Uh, speaking of which, can I uh, can I take your things? Uh, we've already asked you about all of that, but can I can I take your ladder? I need that. Can I borrow this ladder? Sure, kid. I'm in a good mood right now. Thanks. I'll take that. Do I need the padlock too? And I don't think I need the rake. And I do need that head over there. I still don't have any glue or anything like that, but I'll take the head anyway. What's it called? A metal head? A metal head? Like straight out of Jack and Daxter. Just a bunch of metal heads. Anyway, let's get, or, or maybe just out of straight, like fans of metal music. Like that would be a metal head. Oh, there's so much more I can do here. Ralph, are you thirsty, kid? I've got some ice cream. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Lisa. I don't remember what you sound like. Oh, no, you, you, you have a really high voice. Uh, but, I, but like more masculine. I don't think I can pull it off. I don't think I have it. I tell you, it wouldn't hurt you, you know? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, you should exercise a little more. My dad says I was as athletic as, I, as he was at my age. Never mind. <laughs> What's that you're holding? A water balloon. I couldn't get any water to fill it, though. Can I have it? I don't think so, Lisa. Maybe some other time. All right. Well, maybe we can convince you in a moment. Is something wrong? Yeah, this heat is intense. Poor thing. He needs to, He needs something to cool off. I've got an ice cream. Take the ice cream. I'm sure it'll freshen you up. Hey. Thanks, Lisa. That was much better. Can I have that balloon, please? Uh, what's that you're holding? It's a balloon. Can I have it? Sure, Lisa. I feel all refreshed out thanks to you. Thanks, Ralph. Now, I don't know. Maybe the anti-mutant formula? Hmm. Maybe the bottle of oil? Ah, a balloon filled with oil. Now, I'm not sure why we're doing that yet, but I have it. I have it, we're on to something. What's over here? Oh, hey there. Francine, ooh. I, there's tape over there. I definitely need that duct tape. How do I take care of you? What, does, what do you reckon Francine needs? What do you reckon, does she need a magnetizing gun? Maybe I can turn myself, I don't think it's time to use it. Okay, so not that. I don't know. I don't, I've got roller blades, ooh. What, what if I just step over here? What did, oh, she smells me though. Oh, she smells me. The bullies can sense the smell of smart girls. Try to camouflage. Oh, so it's the perfume. So can I just walk across and she's fine? Is she gonna see me? No, she didn't see me. Okay, I'm gonna take the duct tape, stand over here, and then we'll turn the we'll put the perfume back on. There it is. Put that back on and then cross. There you go. She oh she can only smell. She has no sense. If, if you if you're moving, she can't see you. Uh, let's put the duct tape on the music. Yeah. So we've got the edge of glory. I don't know why. Let's go to the Quickie Mart and ask her to play it, any, or at least give it to her, right? Maybe maybe we can get her to like sign it or something. Maybe we can just play it. We should just play it. We should just play it on the saxophone, right? Maybe she's gonna enjoy it. Miss Gaga, would you like to hear your song, The Edge of Glory, played on saxophone? Sh uh, sure, that'd be great. <laughs> What do you think? It was terrible. Um, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you need to practice more. I understand. Oh no, do we need to go get some more practice? Do we need to go learn how to play it somehow and then come back and impress her? I do think that is exactly what we need to do. But in the meantime, I have this head. 
Uh, this is not where I meant to go. Well, while we're here, can I put the ladder down over here? I don't think so. But while we are at Statue of Springfield, I can slap the ladder down. And maybe if we put the head up there in the... T can I... Do I have to tape the head for... Do I have the tape? In oh, I think I lost the tape. I don't think I actually have the tape anymore. I'm gonna put the head here anyway. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Trying to use something to attach the head onto the statue. So I think I need, like glue because I've lost my tape and type like the tape is literally gone oh I can just throw the balloon of oh that's what the oil's for I can throw the balloon of oil the pig and it slips little pole I'm sure happy you're okay thanks kid don't worry about it uh do you want to like move now so I can get into the cemetery maybe or maybe you just have something to give me uh can you let me in sure you rescue my piggy it's the least I could do thanks hey there we go Bleeding Gums Murphy. Now, before we talk to you, I do see what appears to be a quarter here. And I don't see anything else going on in the background. Great. Now, I think if we play sax on the beach here, I think we can raise Bleeding Gums Murphy from out of the grave. Yeah! I like jazz. I've had, like, intros and outros music before that's, like, jazz-related. I've done that. Excellent interpretation. I love that song, Lisa. Thanks, Mr. Murphy. I'm a big fan of yours. What can I do for you, Lisa? Uh, can you play the Star Wars theme? Uh, sure, Lisa. Here it goes. Prepare to get copyright flags. Yeah, it might, it might, it might do that. I might get a good old copyright flag. But if I keep talking over the song instead of just appreciating it, there's a chance YouTube's system won't catch it. You know what happened to me the other day? I got my freaking thumbnail flagged for that one night of Flumpties I did. If you guys didn't see, you should go check it out. I did a, a video of one night of Flumpties and the thumbnail, YouTube detected it and thought it broke YouTube guidelines. So I had to change the thumbnail. It was just a zoom up of Flumpties face and my face and YouTube took it down. It said no. I tried to put it back up and it took it down again. So now I just have a picture of that like beaver or whatever sitting on a toilet. That's the thumbnail. For some reason, a beaver sitting on a toilet is more appropriate than a zoom up of Flumpty's face, and he's just an egg. I don't understand. Can you play Thriller? Sure, Lisa, here it goes. Thriller, Thriller Night. Something about running for your life, and I don't remember the words. <laughs> I don't, something about that. The thriller like music video though, it's so long. It's like they it's like a short film. Like they that wasn't that was more than a music video. It was a short film. Also, while we're at it, could you teach me how to play pop on my saxophone? Well, it's a very unusual request, but I don't see why not. Prepare yourself, Lisa. Here it goes. Zip zap. There, Lisa. Now you've got the ability to play pop on your saxophone. Cool, thank you, Mr. Murphy. No problem. It was a pleasure to help you. Good luck, Lisa. Great. Bleeding Gums Murphy's such a nice guy. Now we can go to the Quickie Mart and we can play this Edge of Glory on my saxophone. Miss Gaga, would you like to hear your song, The Edge of Glory, played on my saxophone? Sure, that'd be great. You see, that's much better. I don't hear it, though. Like, I hear what's playing, but I don't hear Edge of Glory. It's been a long time since, since I've heard Edge of Glory, I'll be honest with you. Excellent, that's what I call talent. That deserves a prize. Here, take this 20 bucks, spend it however you like. Great. I am. I'm going to go spend that on, like, a flashlight and stuff. That's what I'm going to go do. Dude, here's my $20. Apu, I'd like to buy some products. With $20, you can buy a lot. I know, I'm going to take quite a few things from you. Yep, just slowly go to the cash register. There you go. I'm gonna take your flashlight. I'm gonna take your super glue. Ah, super glue and some insulating tape. Excellent. And with that, we can definitely go to the statue. And can I put the uh, glue? Yeah, I'm gonna put the glue on the head now. Is it glued? Yeah, metal head with glue. Great. And we can slap that on the statue. Blam, blam. Oh, hot ham. And then I can go down, tell you about it. And you should be pretty happy with me right about now and maybe give me something. Uh, have you seen the new statue? Yeah, it's terrible what they did to the statue. No, I'm talking about the new image of the statue. New image? I can't believe it. It's like new. We have our ceremony after all. I don't know how to thank you, Lisa. Well, how about that, like, $5,000, that bribe or whatever that you're going to take from Tony? I'll take that. It's the least I can do. Here you go, Lisa. I've got a key to the city, um, which I think is actually going to allow me to get into the abandoned toy store. Uh, I think I've got everything done, everything done, everything done, everything done, everything done, everything done, everything done. Yes, I think we just need to go into the abandoned uh, toys 
store or whatever. I think that's everything. Uh, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a Marsh, Martian. I'm gonna put this on. Can I spray myself? No. Nope. Okay. I don't know what we're gonna do once we get in there. I don't know what we're gonna do once we're here. I'm here though. Uh, let us the prize. Open galleons. Come here, comrade. Do I need to anti-mutant you? Tell me, how can you walk around with no helmet on? Don't you joke? Thing is, due to the high contamination levels on this planet, the air is kind of is breathable to our kind. Are you sure? Absolutely. Let's try it then. I need to smash that. Uh, 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 do I have something to smash it with? I don't have like a hammer or anything. Oh, I never went and got my gumball. <laughs> There's my gumball. Uh, that's great. I have my candy now, so I have my candy. I could probably put the anti-mutant formula under the candy, and I could probably put that in the slingshot. And I will need that for something, but I don't need it for the alien. I'm glad I came back out here. I was hoping to find something to help me with the alien. Oh, I just take it from him. <laughs> oh, I didn't need to destroy it at all. I just needed to take it from him. I'm so stupid. The trick worked perfectly. Well, I'm so glad we went out there because that was the only way I could figure out the slingshot thing. Now there's a Batman doll over here. Great. We've got a Batman doll. We've got a coffee maker. Coffee machine. I've got my coffee. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Oh no. Oh, sad. But all the same, let's continue to move forward. Oh, trick or treat. Uh, treat? Okay, I'm waiting. Oh, 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 this is this thing. Here you go, gumball. <gasps> I can't believe that worked. Uh, <laughs> the formula of Professor Frank worked quite well. I wasn't sure that that was gonna work. I mean, I, as soon as I knew that he was gonna like wait for a treat, I'm like, I knew it was gonna work that in that moment, but I wasn't. A lot of these puzzles, because I've played this game before, but all a lot of these puzzles, if not literally all of them, I have forgotten how they work. It's just guesswork. Or maybe it's my subconscious. Maybe a part of my subconscious kicks in and like vaguely remembers some of it. Maybe. I don't know that for sure. There's a dog here. Mr. Burns' dog. I feel like if I try to get close, he's gonna bark at me. Yep, for sure. Yep, we're dead. He's gonna eat us. Uh, I probably should have read the hint. Uh, what can we do though? Can I perfume you? Nice. <laughs> Does not work. Uh, bad temper, we need to neutralize them first. What if, well, with Santa's little help, or maybe, no. Oh, I can look at the doll. Oh, I can take the bat symbol off of the Batman, and now I've got a Batman symbol. What do I do with a Batman symbol? I don't know. Maybe, oh, may, oh yeah, maybe it's the help, maybe, yeah, it's that, maybe I use the tape or something. Maybe I, wait, do I still have the glue? I do still have this glue. Oh, we can put the super glue on the alien helmet, and then blam. Yeah, the glue's proven useful. There you go. And there's like a nail over here or maybe a match. <gasps> it's a match. I can light it with the match box and then we can light this dynamite when we're ready. I don't think we're ready just yet. What are we doing with this X? Can I put rollerblades? I don't know what we're doing with the X yet. I'm just gonna walk forward and see what happens. Oh, and we're dead. Oh, and we've been kidnapped. Okay, we've been clownified. Uh, yep, it's Lisa the clown. The clown will pull inside the box. Anyone who enters the room. Uh, anyone that enters the room? What if we put the dynamite in the Batman? Dynamite in the doll? Oh. Dynamite in the doll. Dynamite in the... Good idea, but first we need to put something on to hold the dynamite. Oh, the backpack. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You better grab that. It's gonna... Oh, but we need to do something. We need to put it in the... And we're dead. <laughs> oh, we need to put it on the roller skates, don't we? We need to put you on the roller... On the roller, on the roll, hey, there you go, hey. We need to light the match. Oh, the match is not lit anymore. There you, hey, hey. I'm trying to click on her. There we go. There we go. Push her. Da 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 da. Boom. Yeah. Great. We figured it out. He didn't expect that. <laughs> I'm gonna move forward. I love moving forward. Moving forward is my favorite direction. Uh, right after left, actually. Get it? Forward, right, after left. Oh man, I killed myself. Uh, let's let's uh, go peek, take a peek through the window. Can we take a peek through that window? Can I robot? Can I, I'm gonna look at the robot. I've got a robot that I might be able to open. I can open the robot. I don't know what I'm putting inside the robot. I could probably put something in there. I don't have any more dynamite to put in there. Can I put the doll in there? It seems absurd. Let's just go through here and see what, what, what we're waiting for. I feel like I have to do something through that window. I just don't know what... Oh, it's the Joker. And here we have our second contestant of our exciting The Million Question. A quiz show? I love quiz shows. What's the prize? Er, as the name says, a million. A 
million what? A million, uh, I make the questions here, kid! And here we have our second contestant of our exciting The Million Question! Well, since we are already here, let's welcome our first contestant, the lovely Harley Quinn! Uh, um, thanks for the applauses, Mr. J! But nobody applauded. Oops, I accidentally skipped your stuff. And let's welcome our contestant number two! The, the kid with the yellow head! My name is Lisa. Eh, whatever. Well, let's begin. The rules are simple. I make a question, and the first one to press the button gets to answer. Here we go. Ready? The question is... How much is one plus one? Uh, uh, button. There you go. There you go. Oh, no, the button doesn't work! Contestant number one, what's your answer? Three! Three? Hmm, considering how close you were, the answer is correct. It's not fair. My button's not working. Besides, one plus one equals two, not three. This is a scam! Kid, for your information, we've got auditors making sure that this, that this is a clean contest. Oh, yeah, and where are they? Uh, I'm sure they're here somewhere, but that's not important. Now let's give our unlucky contestant the, with the yellow hair a consolation prize. A pie to the face! Maybe the solution is not in this room. It's not. It's right here, maybe? Batman symbol? It's something to do with that there wi magnetizing gun. Mm, it's something to do with this here window, and I'm not sure exactly what it is yet. Oh, the bat flash. Like we put the Batman symbol on the flash. Oh, that makes sense. Duh. Duh. I think it's time to get out of here, boss. <laughs> what do you mean? Harley. And there you go. That was one heck of a scare. There you go. Oh my god, that was a thinker. I don't know why I was I don't know why that took me so long to think of. Uh what do you got here? Some sort of battery? That looks like some kind of battery. Oh, maybe that goes in the robot. Is that nit nitroglycerin? Oh, it's not a battery, but it's an explosive. Oh, perfect. So we've got a robot with an explosive device in him. I don't know what we're doing with him yet, but we'll uh, Ooh, Chucky. Oh, can I send the robot in after Chucky? I don't trust this. I don't trust this. As oh wait, what are we doing? Oh. Yeah. Well, that's not exactly what I was going. Oh, there's a plug here. Uh, I can put the fan down here, maybe. Oh, you know what we need to do? Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to cut the wire off the. We need to cut the wire off the fan and then attach the plug to the lever. <sighs> now, what if I try to grab the stone? He's gonna go try to grab the lever. He's gonna electrocute himself. Oh, perfect! Poor Chucky's all burned down, he is. I don't think he's gonna get up. What even is this thing? Now, I think we do want to unplug this, right? I think we still want this. I think we still want this. I don't think we want to lose this. I think I still want to put it back together. And I do have the insulating tape, and that'll put it, yeah, we've got a repaired fan, so we still have our fan, and we have our pebble. Did we get our pebble? No, I think I left it behind. Grab our pebble. And then, do I need to do anything else with that? Can I just put it in the slingshot? It's in the slingshot, perfect. So we have a slingshot loaded with a stone, and we've got exploded people here. Great, and some stuff on the desk. Is there anything I can take here? Oh, there's a wood block. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a wood block. It's just a wooden block. I don't know. All right, we're gonna move on to the next room. There's so many rooms. <gasps> it's mini crusty. I see a fan. I see some things to set up. I feel like the magnetizing gun. But then what? Oh no, he's not happy with us. <laughs> Okay, it's not enough to magnetize the fan to defeat the evil crusty doll. No, that's fair. Uh, oh, there's a plug over here, so I think we need to put the fan down, right? So that's like plugged in now. What is this gonna be for? Uh, we have the balloon. Oh, good idea, but we need to attach something for. Oh, so we can put the wood block on the balloon, and we can put the balloon here. Oh, and then we. Ma oh, and then we magnetize the fan. And then we slingshot the balloon to hit the fan. Yeah, there we go. We just needed to fling the crusty. There we go. We flung the crusty. <laughs> we got rid of that evil crusty puppet. I like the way I say it better. I like saying we flung the crusty. That makes it sound way more gross. Hashtag fling the crusty. Oh, it is the final boss room. Congratulations, Lisa. You've proven yourself to be a very smart girl since you passed almost all the tests. 
And I say almost, because there's one last task left to rescue your family and win the game. In three minutes, this room will be filled with a powerful laughing gas that will make you all laugh non-stop. I think you understand the severity of the matter. To the right, you'll find a digital keypad in which you'll have to enter a four digits code. If the code is correct, it will deactivate the gas, the door will open, and you will have saved your family. Win or lose, make your choice. Great. Uh, I have a plate. Can I look at the plate? That's the order, so it's gonna go, uh, 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 uh your name. I can't think of her name right now. Pebbles. Two times six, eight, seven, one, six, three, two, five. What? None of that makes sense. But then there's circles. So one, uh, one, one circle four. Is it supposed to be like a plus? Two circle six is a plus? plus. Yep, circle's a plus. And triangle is a minus. Perfect. Uh, which means uh, you, whose name, Peggy, sure, you are uh, two. Homer is five, two, five. Bar is seven, two, five, seven. And Marge, two, five, seven, one, two, five, seven, one. Yeah. Two, five, two, five, seven, one. I am so smart. I am so smart. I did it. Well done, sweetie. Now let's get out of here before that puppet comes back. Una semana después, one week later. Well, family, to leave behind all those terrible moments we've been through this last week, we'll go on vacations to Ranch Relaxo. It's a Pacific and nice place, but most important, far away from the city of, uh, and that wicked puppet. Woo! Woo! Oh no. Oh no. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> He's going on vacation with us. We're taking Pixar with us to, to relax. So. And that's going to do it for this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please do all the things. And until next time, wash your hands. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.